Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a real quick look at a brand new 2023 XLR Nitro 407 Toy Hauler 5th Wheel. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of this beautiful 5th Wheel. Then we'll close it up at the end and show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are up inside the brand new 2023 XLR Nitro 407 toy hauler fifth wheel here. And we're gonna start up front here in the kitchen area, and then we will kind of work our way back. So as you've seen on the floor plan a second ago, this has a front kitchen with a rear garage, kind of a middle bathroom bedroom area. So up top here, we have some overhead shelf space and a cabinet on each side. You have a windshield overlooking the front area and it does have a pull down blackout shade for privacy. High rise sprayer faucet, undermount stainless sink there. There are four drawers on each side. So you got eight drawers, full extending ball bearing drawer, got a drawers. And then you have quite a bit of storage space underneath there. Propane leak detector down here on the right. Some really pretty solid surface countertops here. Really nice setup. Couple quick things. This one was ordered with solar panel by GoPower. Also set up with the WineGuard Air 360 Plus. And basically what that means to you is it's pre-wired. You'll see this little thing inside here where you can buy a connect gateway and subscribe to a internet service from like AT&T or Verizon, one of those type of places. So it takes your TV antenna system that's already on it with a nice upgrade there and allows you to get Wi-Fi. Pretty cool, especially if you are an extended stay or full-timer type of customer. Over here on your kitchen slash living room slide out setup here, you have the Furion gas oven, three burner stove top has the light in the oven along with light up knobs, flip down glass lid, and you have quite a few drawers and some cabinet space there as well. The window, behind the stove and over here by the counter here, both open. I did forget to mention over here, there is another window that opens and an electric outlet back there as well. You have the large Furion refrigerator here, 12 volt refrigerator system. Just up above here, you have a vent fan. Over here is one of your ACs. This particular unit was ordered with three ACs. Big Furion microwave over there. Quite a bit more counter space. And then you have more storage space down below as well. Another nice feature on this unit is gonna be the tire pressure monitoring system. It's a TST uh, model 507 series. If you want to uh, maybe search that on YouTube, there's quite a few videos that kind of explain this, but basically it is a screen that you can put into your tow vehicle with you and it will monitor what's going on with the tires while you're driving down the road. So you have seating in here for six. Theater seat looking straight ahead at your large TV there. Sofa over here is on a slide. And all these windows here in the living room area do open. Electric fireplace, it's a 40 inch graystone electric fireplace here. And basically it's a fancy 
fire fancy light up fireplace with an electric space heater built in you can turn on just the lights like i have it now or you can turn on the heater with it as well just above that is a jbl stereo system you have some indoor speakers and a couple outdoor speakers as well you'll see when we get out there and then obviously your tv there all vinyl floor up in this section and you do have kind of a mixture of some heat ducts there's a few heat ducts in the floor and some that come out the cabinet kind of depending on the area of the rv now looking up at the ceiling in the living room area here there is another vent fan here got some ac ducts coming down the center area here again a couple speakers in here smoke detector up on this part of the ceiling pull down blackout shades roller shades in most of the rv over here kind of stepping down into our hallway area here we have the 30 amp solar charge controller here digital thermostat for our furnace propane furnace and uh, one of our air conditioners um, we got some power information here power control system and down here we have some more light switches uh, slide buttons some awning buttons generator start stop and hour meter 12 volt tank heaters for cold weather camping fuel pump cutoff switch water heater on propane switch the electric switch is outside and then you have water pump switch Another switch down here for the on off of the converter sub. Over here, we have our bathroom area here. So we're gonna start kind of from the top down. We have a large turbo exhaust fan up there, skylight up above, nice big tall ceilings. One piece fiberglass shower with the sit down seat in it. It's got kind of a two-tone wallboard in here, so you have a little different look. Medicine cabinet, fan controls, some light switches, electric outlet, little sink area. There is some storage underneath the sink, heat duct coming out the side of the cabinet, porcelain foot flush toilet. Let's step in here real quick and just kind of look at it from the other direction here. All right, stepping back out into the hallway area here. You also have your main entry door basically coming in right there. So your main entry door has a screen door on it. So does the one in the garage. This also has a window in it and it's Lippert Thin Shade ready. There's an aftermarket shade you can buy that goes in there if you want. They also make some really nice, uh, almost like foil insulation things that go into these type of windows uh, for winter campers as well. Down here, built into the bottom of the step, is a central vac system, along with a dustpan vac as well, so you can sweep a lot of things right into that. You have your electric box with your breakers and fuses here also. Now we are backing up into the bedroom area here. So you had kitchen in the front, then your living room, then your bathroom, and now we are into the bedroom section here. And you have a sliding door here, to block off your bedroom area for privacy. Over on the wall over here, you have a couple electric outlets. There's even TV hookups over there if you wanted to put a TV on the wall over there. A digital thermostat for your second AC. Then we swing over here at the foot of the bed. This is another slide out right here. And you have hanging closet you also have quite a few drawers and stuff here as well. 
Now there's also a TV backer here and TV hookups here. So you could really, if you want to, put two different TVs in here. Not sure you really would want to, but they have the capability of doing that. Spinning on around here, looking at the bed area here. So we have a queen bed. This bed will raise up and there is storage underneath of there. And you can also see a couple of the tables there that will go into the garage area that are removable. You have a little nightstand on each side, window on each side open. The one at the headboard area does also open as well. You have overhead cabinet space. And then there's also some USB charger ports on that lower right nightstand as well. Some overhead cabinets. And then our door, which will take us into the garage when we head that direction here. Looking up real quick, again, the second AC right here in this area. Let's step on back into the garage area here. So right here we have kind of a little seating area that you again could put those tables in that were under the bed. So you could sit back here and eat if you wanted to, or this will fold down and make into an extra bed or just kind of lounge around back here. Now up above is another bed up here. Now I didn't bring this bed down, but it's basically you push a button, the bed comes down kind of scenario. One thing you do have to do to release it, there are little gold clips here. These little thingies flip and then you raise the seats up, allowing it to hit the release buttons and that will allow you to bring down your big bed. So you could sleep four people back here fairly comfortably. The windows back here in the garage all open. This was also ordered with the optional three season door. And these doors slide across and you have basically a screen or glass panel, depending on how you want to use it. And then there is a little release latch here that will allow the door to swing open so that it's easier. It's going to close on me there, uh, but basically to help you make it wider so you can roll your bikes up in here or whatever toy you might happen to have. Give again that overhead cabinet space, which you can get to from this side or the bedroom side, depending on where you might want to grab something. Up here, you have hot and cold water line hookup for washer dryer. There's a drain there as well. But if you're not going to do the washer dryer, some people like to use this and put in like maybe a portable ice maker and you can have kind of a little drain line there, use the cold water line for a nice portable ice maker. More light switches, bed controls, awning controls, digital thermostat for the third AC this one was ordered with. More TV hookups here, backer in the wall. Now another cool feature for 2023 is going to be this rear camera right here. This camera will allow you to see what's going on back here in the garage with your toy. A lot of you guys have you know, expensive Harleys or razors or whatever you might have, and you just want to make sure it's okay. That's a nice little bonus feature there on the XLR Nitro for 2023 to allow you to do that. Stepping on back to the back patio. Again, this was ordered with the rear patio setup here. So we have kind of a little railing system going on here. Also, this one was ordered with the rear steps. And those are in here laying on the ground. So you can see that right there. Those nice aluminum steps would allow you to walk right off the back of here. Put those steps down. You got a little gate area right there and you can get up and down. Little awning area here to come out over the back patio. But overall, pretty cool setup here. 
couple docking lights up top there and then it's also again pre-prepped for that Furion rear observation camera that you could do aftermarket. All right, we are going to head back outside. I want to show you around the outside real quick. And then we're gonna come back in and close the slides up on this beautiful camper and show you what it looks like closed up as well. Um, real quick though, just a couple quick mentions on interior colors and stuff. This is the 2023 color. Um, so you got you know different floors, woods, countertops, wallboards, a whole color change for the 2023 lineup versus the 2022s that were previously built. All right, let's head on back outside here and show you what it's all about. All right, we're back on the outside of the brand new 2023 XLR Nitro 407 model here. We're gonna start here on the door side and kind of spin our way around. So first things up, this one was ordered with one of their optional full body paint exteriors. They have a few different paint jobs that you can pick from or you could go with the standard fiberglass exterior. And obviously paint is more expensive than the standard exterior. But talk with your salesperson about that. They'll be glad to go over that stuff with you. Moving on forward here, just behind this first door is one of your propane tanks. On around to this side, we have a large pass-through storage compartment area right here. You can see some of the aluminum tube framing there as well. Another very large pass-through storage area. You have slam lock baggage doors on your two big compartments there. This unit was ordered with two power awnings. Uh, didn't put them all the way out, but kind of bumped them out of hair there. But you have power awning across the front and backside right here. LED light strips built in, adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff, and they have manual overrides in case of an electronic failure. There is an outside electric outlet next to that baggage door there. This one has the steps that come down, touch the ground here for your main entry door. This is by Lippert, it's called the Lippert Solid Step. Um, so quad entrance step to get you in and out. It is stronger and a little more stable. It doesn't shake as much when you're going in and out of the RV. Traditional RV entry door and screen door does have the window in it and the window is thin shade ready. You can buy an aftermarket shade to go in there. Large folding entry handle to help you get in and out of the RV. And then next to that entry handle there is some informational stickers talking about your model number, but also a little sticker down there telling you about the aluminum uh, vacuum bonded sidewall. So you have fiberglass exterior, foam block insulation, aluminum studs, all laminated and vacuum bonded together for a very strong two inch thick sidewall. Triple axle unit here. The tires do have tire pressure monitoring on them. You've seen that uh, monitor box when we were inside there that I showed you. But that basically goes into your truck, you plug it in, and it will sense what's going on with your tires while you're driving down the road. Also, there's the More Ride CRE 3000 suspension upgrade in between the axles here, and that kind of acts like a shock absorber for RVs. Couple outdoor speakers here, and obviously TV. You'll see little informational stickers here, again, just kind of reminding you about that tire pressure monitor and the Lionhead's tires, who basically, uh, who the tires come from and that they are warrantied. On around to this rear section here again, second awning back here, second entry door here going into the garage area, large folding entry handle here, quad hover style step going in and out of the rear door here. They do the hover style step on the garage area because they don't want it to interfere when it flips up into the garage and take away width. 
lot of people are putting multiple toys in here, need that extra few inches of width. So they are doing the traditional hover step in the back. There's also LED light strip just there above that step and another one in front of the other step I forgot to mention too. This one was ordered again with the patio deck system on the back. So you can obviously see the railing system here. I didn't get the steps out. You've seen those when we were inside, but the steps would attach on the back here and you got your little gate to bring you uh, open and kind of let you go out the back if you want to. Awning up top there, again, power awning. You got a couple uh, docking lights up there and you also have prepping for a rear observation camera. It's prepped for the Furion observation camera. I would definitely recommend that, especially when you get into these really long, big coaches. It helps you see what's going on behind you when you're driving down the road. And it also helps you see what's going on when you're trying to back into a campsite. So nice little safety feature to add. Now here we have a basically a fold in and fold out ladder. Um, you can kind of see the little brackets here, but when you want to use it, it kind of props down, giving you a few extra inches for your feet and stuff to allow you to step up on there. But when you are wanting to drive down the road, you flip it up against the body of the RV. Docking light on this side as well. Now, looking down below here, you can see underneath the bottom, you have your dump hose tube holder down here. You can also see the spare tire mounted underneath the rear end as well. Fuel pump station here. So you can fill up your gas and then pump it into say a quad runner or whatever you might have. Uh, so you can take fuel with you. Now the generator also runs on that same fuel tank if you do the optional generator. This was also ordered with the six point auto level jack system. So you have two jacks back here. You can also see one of your dump areas right here as well. You're gonna have two separate dump areas on this particular model. This person also did slide out awning covers to go over top of these slide outs right here. And those basically help shade the room, help repel a lot of water, leaves, twigs, debris, things like that. Back here, you have your second dump area right here. And then just up here a little bit further, you have three dump handles for your galley gray and black water. The other side of your pass-through storage compartment area here. Furnace exhaust out right here and 50 amp detachable power cord here as well. The other side of the front pass-through storage area right here. Now you can see in here, we have quite a few little goodies in here. So we have our Auto level jack controls. This will get us up and down on and off the truck and auto level our RV. Just remember the jacks are only so long. So if you're too at a level, you're gonna have to put blocks under it or do something to basically kind of extend that jack system. You have battery disconnect down here, front cap light switch, cable satellite inlets, water heater bypass, fresh water and city water fills, black tank flush, hot and cold outside utility shower, winterizing valve, and then that's your hose for your outside utility shower. Also some controls right here, uh, control instructions for your auto level jacks. Over here is your water heater area. Uh, this cover will come off. There's an electric outlet or electric on off switch down here, inch and a 16th drain plug, and then your pressure relief valve up top. Make sure you relieve the pressure before you try to drain it. The other 30 pound propane tank right here. And then this has your auto changeover regulator right here. And you basically just twist it to pick which bottle you start off with. 
Now, right up here is some very important informational stickers. I want to pop these up for you real quick. The very first one popping up is your main production data sticker. This has production date, VIN number, axle sizes, but most importantly on this sticker, gross vehicle weight. That is the most you can load the RV up to, axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined, do not exceed that number. Next is your unloaded vehicle weight sticker, which basically tells you what the RV weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line, and it also tells you the length of the RV now as well. Next sticker popping up is your cargo carrying capacity sticker, basically telling you how much gear you can load into the RV before you exceed that gross number on the first sticker. And last but not least, the tire sticker here, telling you tire size, but most importantly here, cold tire pressure. Very important to make sure you check your tire pressure, but also you'll need to know that in order to plug in the information to your tire pressure monitoring system. So keep that in mind when you're setting that all up. On the front jacks, by the way, it does have the quick pull pins. So it just drops down easier, faster if you want. And then also underneath the here, you have your low point hot and cold water drains. And you can also see that enclosed underbelly under there. Now looking under the fifth wheel section here, there is a little hitch light down here. And they got that shining back into this area so you can kind of light this section up if you need to. Room for two batteries in here. Some of the jack and auto level control stuff up there. And then the optional generator feature here. Uh, nice generator that they use, a 5,500 watt generator. It is powered by a Yamaha motor and it is basically an NPS brand powered by Yamaha, I'll tell you. But this thing's pretty cool. It has a keychain remote to help you start it. You have traditional uh, rem start button inside the RV as well, but then it also has a pull start. So if your battery were to die, and say you got it in storage or something, and your battery died for some reason, you could actually still come out here and pull start it to fire it up and get everything going, charge it back up. Really beautiful fiberglass front cap, and again, really nice high-end paint job on this one. You can see little LED lights on the front here as well. Nice windshield setup. The pen box on the RV comes with the standard Rhino pen box. If you do an upgrade aftermarket to say a Kurt Trail Air or uh, you know, Roto Flex box or something like that, whatever you decide you want to do, make sure it bolts up to the Rhino box so your bolt pattern's all properly set up. Uh, talk with your salesperson about that. They'll be glad to go over that type of stuff with you. Um, having some of those upgraded pen boxes and stuff with the airbags or the rubber suspension is a really nice feature to add. It just makes the ride and travel a little more comfortable when you're going down the highway and a little less shock to the front end of the RV. Now, real quick, I wanna pop up a picture of the roof for you so you could kind of see. This particular one was ordered with three ACs, so you can see that up there. It was also ordered with a solar panel. You got TV antenna, plumbing stack vents, skylights, all kinds of goodies up there. You gotta make sure you get up there from time to time and check your seams and seals of everything up there and just make sure you keep water out of it. Very, very important. All right, we're gonna head back inside. I wanna show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, so we're back up inside the brand new 2023 XLR Nitro 407 model here. And we're gonna close up these slides. I want you to see what it looks like all closed up. So when you are ready to close things up, you have to come right back here to your main control panel. We got a kitchen slide, living room slide, bed one and two slide. So we're gonna close up the slides one at a time. When you're ready to bring it in, all you gotta do is push the button to bring it in. These things go basically straight in and straight out. Very, very important to make sure your slide floor is clean. 
so you don't run something over and tear it up. Make sure that your you know, cabinets and drawers and all that type of stuff are closed up as well. Pretty simple. These are 12 volt motored slides. So you just push a button. They go in and out, having a nice, good charged up battery. Especially when you do these solar panels and stuff on these things to help kind of keep them charged up. But you can see with both of these slides closed, I can still come up in here. I could use my oven, I could use my sink, I could load my refrigerator. I could even fire up my microwave if I got the generator running. So with these all closed up, I'm still able to use this whole front section. Obviously it's tight, it's a little inconvenient. You kind of block your TV just a hair. But if I really needed to, stopping at a rest area, taking a nap or whatever, you know, I could come up in here, grab some food, grab a drink or whatever, use the bathroom, no problems in this front section. Now, going down here to the bedroom, this is where things get a little bit tight here. So we gotta bring in our bed slides. Very, very important again, make sure the floor is clean. Okay, so with that slide closed, I could still come in here. I could go back into the garage. I could maybe sleep on my bed if I really wanted to, take a nap. Not a huge deal with that one closed. Now, when I go to close this closet slide though, this one is where I block myself off from the back of the RV. So at this point, I would have to go into the garage and come through the back door to get to my bedroom. So you can see here, not really getting back into that area. But I could come right on out here and go through the back section if I wanted to. And you can see here what it looks like. They're basically butted right up against each other there. But again, I could come back here, sleep if I really needed to. So not the most convenient thing in the world, but it is still doable if you needed to do it. And then it just takes a few seconds to run the slides back out again step back here so you can kind of see what it looks like all closed up outside on the slide part of it anyway again beautiful paint job on this model thanks again guys for taking the time to watch my rv videos i really do appreciate it please be sure to check out the folks at couches rv nation they are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country will definitely save you a ton of money on a new rv thanks again